welcome to Life with Toya. I am here doing a mid-budget check-in. I do get paid bi-weekly, so um, if you have not watched the video um, of me setting up this budget, I will link it um, in the cards at the end of this video. But right now, what I want to do is I want to tap into my budget with you guys. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, let you know what has been going on. So the total of my budget, we predict we budgeted for $12.79. We got $12.79.20. We did get a little cash out, total of $118.88 <clears throat> to help to offset some of these um, costs. I'm going to get ready to show you guys. So basically, I took a look at this. Credit card number two, I was looking to make a payment of $50. I will not be doing that because the focus has shifted. I took a look at my car note. I can't do it today because the payment came out today and they will not allow me to make two payments on the same card in one day. I don't know, this is just crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I can make a payment of $150 to the car note. And the next time we get paid, my goal is to just go ahead and knock it out so that we can start the year off strong with my car notes gone, okay? So excited about that. Um, but we will see, that is the plan right now. This plan could possibly change um, because I'm gonna get to why I have this cash out on the side. So, but that could have a impact on, the, on this decision. So, Next things, what we're going to discuss is we, um, the Canva did come out for $12.99. The car insurance came out for $189.22. The utilities came out for $48.81. You guys, I have turned off all my lights. I found out that the peak time for my utilities is between the hours of four and nine. And I do as less as possible co concerning electricity during that time. So everything I do outside of that. So I try to clean and run vacuums, run washers and dryers, all of that before four o'clock or after nine. So the car note did come out of $300.40, came out this morning, and student loan of $40, I already made that payment. So now we're just waiting on the internet bill to come out and the credit card to come out, which is on auto pay, credit card number one. This payment will be made on the 21st. So I did get a little hungry, didn't feel like cooking. So I ordered some Papa John, which was $16.76. And I paid for my half of Valentine's dinner, which is where some of this cash out money came from, which is $80.95. So this is where we are right now. Um, all of this is, of course, always the same um, because this is where it goes once I take it out. So we started the spending the variable spending we started at $220 and we are going to calculate and see how much money do we have left we are a week in and have a week to go so gas um I had $50 in here prior because I hadn't paid it on my card yet and I put another $50 in there so I had $100 in gas I put the whole $100 on the credit card that I used to put my gas on and so that's why we're at zero with the gas Groceries, um, I had not been stocking up on my groceries like I had been, so I had to do a big grocery haul um, this go around. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten dollars. Good thing about that though is that we have five ones. I don't see myself going to the grocery store again or using this money. So um we will see. I might have $5 from groceries to put into the dollar box. All right. So next we have households. Um, I'm pretty good on everything. I think I could use some more paper towels, but that's about it. But I do have enough to last me the rest of this week. So that's $20 that we have. And dining out, I have not used this money yet. It's just a $20 bill in here. It's just, uh, it's $20 in here. <laughs> All right. And then fun money. 
The money that I had pulled out for events was $51. I added that to the fund money of $20. Um, I have not went on any of the events yet. Um, there's a sip and paint and there's a, um, a uh, Latin night. And um, there is a night at the museum after hours. So... This is 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78. So that leaves us $128. I'm just gonna notate that over here. So we have $128. So 220 minus 128 is $92. So I have $92 left for the rest of the week. Now let's talk about this $52. I actually took this $52 out of my health sinking fund and I was thinking I normally do not add them um, as a source, but I think I'm gonna start doing that this year. And this is the, the first paycheck of the year. So we're gonna start adding money that we pull from a sinking fund. So we're gonna say health, and then this is, we did not plan to pull anything out. So this is 20, 40, 50, one and two. So it's $52. Um, and we pulled it out because I do have a appointment with an oral surgeon and it's gonna cost me $52 for the consultation just to see how much it's gonna cost me to get these wisdom teeth pulled out. So um, I have some wisdom teeth. They gotta go. And um, so, yeah, so we're gonna work on that. The $52, I'm gonna add it. It's not really money to spend, but I have like $144. But it's not really to spend, so we're just gonna stick with the $92 that I have left to spend. So that is my budget check-in. That is it for this budget check-in. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, let's think. Uh, what goal do you plan on reaching financially in the year of 2024? Please leave that. If you have made it this far in this video, please leave your financial inspirations down in the comment section below and we can inspire each other to reach these goals because y'all, your girl is ready to pay off this car so we can go ahead and knock everything else out. I'm so excited about that. So thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, enjoy life with Toya.